Hi Toy Fans, it's Roberto again doing another unboxing. This time it's a special Halloween edition. That's why I have my Lucha mask on. But this is a Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat Reptile figure. Special edition, the bloody edition. Um, these figures are rad. I'm actually really enjoying all everything Storm Collectibles is doing right now. But as you can see, it comes with tons of accessories. These figures are like, I don't know, they're... Not as articulate as a SH figure art, but they're pretty close. So, as you can see on the side, we got a nice piece of uh, art of our pose, a dynamic pose of Reptile. On the other side, we got what looks like half a face, which is coming bleeding off of the front to the side. Oh, uh, don't forget the special edition. The special edition sticker you get here, and on the back, Got a little bio with several different uh, dynamic poses and things you can do, accessories that are in the box. So, yeah, these guys are, you get you get a, a little bit of bang for your buck, and they're a lot of fun. So, let's see what's actually in the box. See the figure, oh, look at the cool Mortal Kombat burst in the background. That's pretty awesome. Let's put that to the side. And then, let's see what you got here. Looks like you're jam-packed with accessories. We got the we got the reptile figure, a ton of hands, and all kind. Well, let's just get them out so that I can show you. So here we got the figure. And for those of you who don't know. Reptile is a fighter from the Mortal Kombat series. He's actually from even the original Mortal Kombat all the, all the way up to today. Um, let's see on the back here. These uh, special bloody edition. He's got some blood splatter all over him. They took the regular figure and they just kind of dirtied him up. And I like it because, you know, the uh, everything in the, in the, uh, the games are super violent. So he comes with an acid thing. Comes with a tongue. That's pretty cool. Comes with a, a couple of acid burst for his hands. He comes with an alternate uh, mask, which is awesome. Um, so you can have him in either the Mortal Kombat 1 or Mortal Kombat 2 mask. And then... It's also awesome is that he comes with a whole nother alternate head, which is all full of blood. And that's pretty cool. I don't know if the mouth opens or not. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, there's a tongue in there, too. So these uh, Storm Collectibles, if you, <laughs> like, I don't know if, if you uh, if you tried them or not, but treat yourself to at least one, and you'll, you'll have some, some fun. They're a little bit bigger than a Marvel Legend, but um, I don't know. I just, I can't get enough of them. Let's see, he's got a couple of hands here. He's got another set. Like I'm saying, like there's all kinds of, uh, all kinds of options you can mix and match to your heart's desire. And let's see what we're doing with the, the articulation here. That's what I'm, these guys, they do pretty much what you want. There might be a little bit of hindrance here or there, and some stiff joints, but um, they're they're pretty easy to pop off accessories and change out. So you can change the head out, and I'm guessing this tongue just uh, there's a tongue in there, so I'd have to probably pull it out, but it would just go in there like that, and then the hands. Oh, I don't know. They're uh, in the box. It probably shows you what you need to be doing. You gotta change out the hands so they uh, so they match. So, and the hands are always usually pretty easy. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see. So this came off too. So I'd have to, uh, you know, you have to figure it out a little bit. You might have to heat it up. But the uh, so yeah, that that came off properly. Then you can just quick swap, and they always feel pretty snug. But yeah, 
these guys are a lot of fun. And I get, you know, if you find them on a discount, that's what it's the way I usually do my toy shop and look on, look until you see them on, uh, on clearance or whatnot, and then give them a try. Because full price, they can be a little bit spendy, but definitely worth it. And especially if, uh, especially if you're a collector and you like having fun with some, with a different type of figure. Um, like I said, the scale is a little bit bigger than a Marvel Legend. They're kind of closer to a NECA, but sometimes a little bit bulkier. But yeah, a lot of, well, just, just tons of fun. So anyway, my name's Roberto. This has been a Halloween edition of my unboxing. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye.